Alrighty. So we're uh, getting ready for a cold night. I still have a few of these left. Um, you know, the Japanese have got this really strange thing. And when I was in Dezo the other day, um, I'm pretty certain I saw it and I just friggin' ignored it. And what it is, is it's a hot water bottle that's made out of steel. Yeah. <laughs> they were a big hit in the 50s and they're still using the damn things over there. So, big hit for the Japanese in the 50s. During the war, they were so hard up for steel, they started using ceramic ones. Now, when you pour a coffee, how much heat comes through the side of the bugger all? Like, how long would it take to even get any heat out of the damn things? I don't know. It just doesn't seem smart to me. But these are... <coughs> tried one of these a couple of weeks ago, and they're about stuffed because it's 2017 used by date. They don't go for hours. In fact, they don't go anywhere near like it said there, even when they were new. Um, but... Uh, Taking them anyway, you do get a little bit of heat out of them. Uh, I've also got the, the jacket here. This is the, um, yeah, the, the big uh, Milwaukee one. What do we got here? I think the pockets, yeah, around here somewhere. Yeah, you got this extra pocket. <coughs> this baby goes in, and uh, you got right up under the collar. Some of you have got these, I know. You get the power button here, it just says M12, because um, it's part of the 12 volt range. And you push that, you got three different heat settings, but these are, I bought these, oh, I think the second year they come out. And um, yeah, this one was like a, a discount one because the new model was coming out. And uh, so the, the new model has, this has only got like three heating zones or something. And the new model had heaters in the pockets and everything. I think I've got one left side chest, one right side chest and one on the back from memory. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad at all, actually. It is not bad at all. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember I was down at Chinese Bosses and I was pruning grapes and... You know, you're there and it was the end of autumn or it was already winter. I think it was actually already winter and we are pruning. Um, and, uh, yeah, it would have been because everything was always running below, uh, behind schedule. And it was bloody cold and you'd be there and, it would, you know, there'd be frost on the ground or whatever. And it just... I remember I'd have so many sets of gloves on it, it wouldn't make a damn difference. You know, I got to the point of actually using latex gloves with ski gloves over the top of it. And still, my hands are fucking frozen, you know, and it's like, my gosh, like, and it just, your hands are going numb, you know. <clears throat> but I used to have this on, and my body was fine. And I remember there were there times the wind would be blowing like hell, and you knew it was already below freezing just with the wind factor, like, with the wind chill factor, it was below freezing, and then it would start raining as well. <laughs> <laughs> and this wind would be howling, and the rain would be coming down, and you swear black and blue, it must have hit like about minus three or something. <laughs> Real world temperature. You know, if I put a temperature sensor on my back, it would have been minus three. And then I'd just press a little button, and and you'd just wait, and in 20 seconds, the heat would just be blasting through, and it was like, oh. I'll tell you what, I have... This is not a regretful purchase, this thing. Um, yeah. Anyway. Hot water bottle as well. Uh, this one is quite old, actually. Um, <clears throat> I think that's trying to tell me it's 2006. Uh, but, yeah, somebody else had this and never used it. It was in the packet new, and I got it. Oh, shite, I got it 10 years ago myself. Yeah. Anyway, it, it, I have used it once, I think. And uh, we'll see, but it should be pretty good. We'll find out. We'll find out. Another interesting thing. <coughs> DIY pocket warmers. You know, like, make your, your own ones of these up. And, then, like, you know, my gosh, when you start looking at things, you... 
realise how absolutely ripped off we are and how much profit some of these guys must be making. I was just looking at Alibaba and I was con uh, comparing prices and you know there's like USB batteries there, right, that are selling for like less than 10 US dollars and over here they will be minimum 170 if not 230 US dollars for the same bloody thing and I even found some exactly the same that I've been buying myself from this department store for bloody peanuts it's like 7 US dollars each or something you know and you're just like my god we get ripped off um, and uh, these are, are no different because uh, you know, they're not exactly the cheapest thing. I've seen some of these larger ones for five dollars each. Now I got these in a, like a pack of, oh, I don't know what it was, a pack of eight for two dollars eighty. So these were pretty cheap, but they are smaller ones. And to be quite honest, they're nowhere near the rating that they say they are. Turns out, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I've been looking at USB warmers. Uh, you know, I've got those little black mat things, but these are, are like you know, round one pocket warmer ones. You know, and they all want, you know, you know what they want. They want about eight US dollars each, generally speaking, for these things on eBay and stuff like that. And uh, I'm pretty certain you could probably get them off Alibaba for like three US dollars each or something like that. Uh, you know, you might have to buy 50 of the damn things or whatever, but <coughs> you know what I'm saying. There's a shop that make a good profit. And then... German guy, uh, yeah, we can, uh, you know, you can make one your own, DIY, and if I'm not, oh yeah, frickin' bingo, I've got one sitting right on the ground here, I've got a whole heap of spare electronic, all that shit down there is all just circuit boards and shit, <coughs> I think he had 3R3, 3.3 ohm, um, ooh, this is 27 ohm, 27R, because they're right, 3R3, or 27R in the case of this one, um, with a K behind it. That's a 5 water. But these old school ones, he had two of these, and he had two that were both 3.3 ohm or some bullshit like that. And you, you're not going to find these falling out the sky, uh, but they're in a hell of a lot of old TVs. And you get old T like the old tube screen TVs, <coughs> Especially where like the power circuitry, like your, you know, like your power supply drop down, or your ones where you know where it initially comes in with a power, and you'll have your transformer on the same board or hooked to this board, and you got a lot of heavy duty looking components on there, maybe some really big electrolyte capacitors, and you'll find that these are on there. And he had two of these stuck together. Then he had two leads coming out go into his USB and he put it inside a tiny little bit of concrete. In other words, you could probably just get cement and sand mix and he had this little thing that was like that with these two things on hooked straight to the USB battery. You know, all for the cost of just smacking the back of a, a thing open and literally a handful of freaking cement. And, and that was it. That was it. That was his USB hand heater, and I thought, you beauty, I know I've got some of these around, so I might uh, be making some of my own up in future. But more interesting is the fact that I was buying big containers, like this one here, this is a uh, a twin pack, um, well, apparently there's 700 mil, to say 22.3 fluid ounces for you Americans. Um, <coughs> And this is the one, the calcium chloride one. This has got little bits of charcoal in there that quite frankly look like rat shit through the middle of it, you can see there. And, uh, yeah, you pluck those out. And what this guy done, you might have heard of him, Kip K. He's on YouTube. I better give him a bit of credit seeing he's the one that had the video. Uh, old Kip K, he uh, showed how to make these using these now, as you know I've got those ones that are like the small bucket size ones <laughs> that I got for like $3.47 I stuffed up in the video and I said $3.27 uh, once and I've said $3.47 later it was $3.47 um, 20 cents what's the difference 
You just get two Ziploc bags. In fact, this bag itself is actually a Ziploc bag, which is uh, interesting. Um, but what you do is you get a bigger one and you get a smaller one. And the smaller one you put water in and, you know, seal it up. The bigger one you throw a bunch of this in and then put your small bag inside your bigger one. You may want your bigger one to be fairly decent duty, like not some dollar store shit. Go and get a fairly good branded one, like one that's a fairly heavy duty, maybe like a, a brand name one from the supermarket, not a dollar store one. And what you do, <coughs> one where at least the wall isn't too thin, it doesn't necessarily have to seal good at top if you can keep it upright, but you probably do want it to keep it, well, you know, I don't expect you, you want to <laughs> have it fail on the top either because you might have it laying down or might have it sitting in your pocket. So you need a good quality big one and a rubbish quality small one in the middle and with the water in it and all the beads just sitting in the bottom of the big one. And what you do is you just squeeze it so you burst the, uh, or you know, open the smaller one with the water and you make all these wet. And because they've been made so wet so quick, they heat up. Now, it doesn't matter if they're just drawing moisture out of the air, they don't make a significant amount of heat. However, when you pour like a half a cup of water on them, it's a little bit different. It really starts to fire up. <laughs> so, so that's interesting. And you get half an hour to an hour out of it. And I know that's going to be a realistic act, uh, representation, half an hour to an hour. You know why? Because he's not bloody selling them to extend out and say they're going to go, you know, eight hours duration like this thing, more than 40 degrees Celsius, average 52, maximum 63 Celsius. And, and you know, these, these little sods, I mean, when I had them new, the best I could do was about two and a half hours and they're stuffed, you know. And he's just... <laughs> My God, if you ever want to see bullshit related to to how things, you know, times and ratings, go buy some hand warmers because cause even those reusable ones, the, they've got some sodium blah blah super saturated mix ones um, that have got like some little coin looking thing in there and it's a little piece you click and, and they fire up. They're ones you've got to boil later. In all honesty, you might as well just use a freaking hot water bottle instead of having to boil these things for 10 minutes, and there's some of those that uh, work and some of them that are shit. Um, but <sighs> long and short of it is that so many of these things have just got bullshit ratings on them. You know, that thing, like I had, a, like, the one I got it, <clears throat> like when I got those new, I would have been going about, it would have got about two and a half hours, and it would have hit a maximum of, of 35 degrees Celsius. And that's saying easy 40, average 52, maximum 63. And I had that damn thing sitting under, underneath bed covers and everything, and it's just the crap. They don't get anywhere near the rating. And, and, you know, when it comes to bullshitting on products, hand warmers are the absolute fucking worst. You know, all these ones that, you know, I've been reading about other ones online that, you know, goes for eight hours, it goes for... 12 hours or 16, you know, there's people getting these things that are supposed to go for fucking 12 hours to 14 hours and then they get an hour and then someone else said, I got one that goes 15 minutes, you know, it's like, fuck me drunk, those things are just crap. But, uh, you know, and there's people's subjective thing, you may think, but, like, honestly, you can't say 15 minutes of heat and then it dropped off and you're just stretching your imagination on something that's really 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you must have, be as numb as hell to, to not, you know. And, and I believe these guys because Mr. 8 Hours over there, when I bought the pack brand new, when it was in date, not, you know, out of date, two and a half hours, you know. And, and that's, you know, and they're just they're crap, you know. But anyway... Because he's making a YouTube video on it, and he's not selling them, I don't think he's going to exaggerate. And uh, those other ones are different. They've sort of got... Uh, the hell is it again? It's... I think there's something like rust in there. Or is it iron that then goes to rust and they have, like, silica gel something 
it's on the back of them anyway. You can go look it up for yourself if you really want to. But, but anyway, I've got to keep packing here and, uh, yeah.